What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jalissa if you're new, and if you're not new, thanks for returning. So I'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure with me today to TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx, and I'm pretty sure you guys do too, except for the fact that sometimes I get a little bit frustrated because it has so many selections of things that I just, I don't know where to start. So I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks that I like to use when I'm at TJ Maxx to make sure that I get that good branded stuff for the low price because some things are still expensive at TJ Maxx. Don't let them fool you. So, without making this intro a lot longer, let's just go to TJ Maxx. Did you just crash? Oh. <laughs> so, I'm walking into TJ Maxx, but I want to show you guys my outfit of the day, even though it's not that cute. So, I'm just wearing this shirt that just so happens to be from Marshalls. Some Tommy Hill figure leggings, some Ugg boots, because it's still kind of chilly where I live, and my mom's camo jacket, because she's cooler than me, and I don't have one. So... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm at the guys section, but I'm not gonna record a video here. Um, if you guys are interested in how to shop for a guy, because I shop for Bay here all the time, then let me know in the comment down below. But right now I'm gonna help my brother out a little bit to pick out some stuff, but we'll start getting into the female shopping a little bit later. Okay, so starting back from the beginning, right on the table, right by the door, they have the colors that are going to be in style, which I'm assuming are going to be the light pastel pinks, especially for the spring right now. When I was a sophomore in high school, I bought my first ever uh, Michael Kors bag myself, and it was at TJ Maxx. You guys, don't sleep on this. If any of you guys went to high school with me or you know you knew me in high school, you know that I had a Michael Kors backpack, and I spent a lot of money on it, and here they have one for $120. Like... If I would have known that, I would not have spent all that money. Like, I don't know too much about purses, and I don't have too many tips and tricks for shopping with purses, but I just wanted to show you guys that. So right here are the cosmetics, and the majority of these things are actually not name brands. They're just kind of like brands that they sell at TJ Maxx. When you come to TJ Maxx, you want to get designer things, well, at least I do, um, that I could buy somewhere else for a lot more money, but I want to get, like, I want to get a good discount. So I'm going to search for the designer things, and they always have them hidden, in little cubbies like here they have them hidden they'll have them hidden like over here because they don't have as much okay, so I actually have this I'm sure you all are familiar with the Sephora brand this is a lipstick that usually retails for like 30 bucks guys and right here look it's five bucks like what you honestly have to dig through this guys it's like ridiculous but it's okay okay so these usually sell also for $30 but here you can get it for $4.50 I know it's a weird color they always bring in the things that they didn't sell but hey like this is still a name brand and you could still make something with this especially now that it's almost gonna be spring This is a melted metal by Too Faced and the I don't know how much these really usually retail for But I know that it's not for $5.99 and here it is $5.99 Moral of the story with cosmetics branded things like that like the brands that you'd find at Sephora are not gonna be out in your face Like all of these things are they're gonna be hidden in these little little compartments like here another one now look at this guys I'm sure you guys have seen these. They've been all over the internet. Um, they have an Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit here. Here they're selling it to you for 20 bucks. Like that is such a steal. And obviously these, is, these are probably not your colors. They only sent the things that they don't sell. And I'm assuming that this dark one was something that they didn't sell too well. So they sent it here. But hey, somebody with darker skin is about to get super lucky. Okay, so another one of my favorite things that I love to buy at TJ Maxx or at Marshalls or at Ross, wherever are the face wipes. These are usually so expensive, guys, and I always buy mine here. This is the only place that I buy mine, just because they're such a good price. I don't have too many tips for buying your like makeup wipes here. I just think you should buy your makeup wipes here. Okay, so TJ Maxx is one of the best places where you can try new skincare for not a lot of money, because skincare is usually so expensive. Okay, so I actually bought this last time, and if you follow me on Snapchat, you know my little situation. If you don't, you should add me on Snapchat because I like tell my life there. So you guys know the brand Tatcha. Um, this is like a an essential set with like hand cream and body cream or whatever. And um, this is probably a lot more expensive than 30 bucks. But right here they're selling it for 30 bucks as you can see. The other day that I came, I was like, ooh, I'm getting that even though it's $30 because I'm sure it's a lot more expensive. But then I kept walking and I found the exact same thing for $15, like in the same store. So... This is only here because I left it here because I took the $15 one. I was like, you're trying to, hmm, how are you going to try to sell me something for $30 that you have in another aisle for $15? 
so you already know which one I took. Everything that's trending, they sell it here. They sell a bunch of the charcoal masks. Look, perfect. Charcoal mask, you know that black mask that's been going around? They sell it here for $6, and online it's probably gonna cost you like 30 bucks. So, point is, guys, if you wanna try new skincare, do it at TJ Maxx, because if it ends up not working, it's not that big of a deal because you didn't spend that much money on it anyway. Moving on to hair care, I don't even think I have to lecture you guys about this. They have all kinds of good hair brands that you could only buy like at hair salon stores that are, you know, selling it for like 30 bucks and everything here is just such a good price and everything is works really well actually. Bedhead gels, they sell these things at Ulta. Hella expensive and here, not expensive at all. Shopping isn't always about getting brand name items. Like you can get things that aren't brand names. But when you're at a store like this and you can get brand names for not a lot of money, take advantage of it. So the biggest advice that I can give you guys in this huge selection of clothing. Go ahead and show them, Julio. Show them how huge this is. There are so many things like too many things. So the biggest advice that I can give you <laughs> is that if you're looking for something that's brand name, don't go to the junior section because all of the brand names, they keep them in the women's section and we can all fit into that section anyway. So like if you're looking for Polo Ralph Lauren, Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, they never put it in the junior section. So don't bother going there. Oh, perfect example. Calvin Klein jeans, 30 bucks. I actually like these. So I don't have much advice for the underwear section except for the fact that it's amazing. You can spend so little and get so many underwears. A lot of them come in like multi-packs, like this it comes in a pack of two, that's awesome. Like where else can you find that? I don't know if this is PG, but this one comes in a pack of three and it's only $7. Like amazing, amazing. And they sell Kelvins here um, and they're not expensive. Last of all, the last thing that I wanna show you guys um, so that I can leave people can stop staring at me like I'm a crazy person is the home decor. Okay, so I've bought so many things from here. It can get kind of expensive still, but like these are cool, good quality. This is good quality furniture. It's not like going to Ikea where you pay a really good price, but in a year or two, the things could be broken and obviously here you don't have to build anything. So let me just give you an example. So this is a velour chair and it has obviously wooden, it's like wooden and then on the back it's really shiny. So I got this exact chair, but in blue and it was a little bit expensive. But it's gonna last me a long time. That's something that is always good from shopping at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or whatever. If you're a candle lover, say no more. This is the place to be. There's no tips and tricks for this. Just, just buy them here. Buy them here. There's no point in buying them anywhere else. They're so inexpensive. Eight dollars, and they smell amazing. They have so many modern things here. Look, like this. These stones have been like super popular. If you're somebody who like is decorating an office and stuff. Like, you need to get your stuff here, your decorations for your desk or any shelves because everything here is so well priced and you'll literally find anything. Like, if you're looking for a metallic accent, there you go. If you're looking for a golden accent, there you go. Pineapples, pigs, like anything, you find it here. And finally, if you're somebody who likes to decorate your house according to the season or to the time of the year, this is your place to go because you're gonna be constantly buying new things to furnish your house with, and you don't wanna spend a bunch of money every freaking holiday season. So now that it's Easter time, look, they have everything in one area just for you to pick out. They have flowers, they have huevitos, they have bunnies, they have everything. And during Christmas, they have things exactly like this during 4th of July, during Valentine's Day. If you're a home decorator, this is your place to be. That way you don't freaking break the bank every time that you wanna decorate your house for the new holiday season. So obviously this video is gonna be out of order now because I forgot to tell you guys something. But anyway, something that's really important when you're gonna go shopping at TJ Maxx is to go to a TJ Maxx that's around a lot of stores. Not just in a little plaza where like TJ Maxx is the only clothing store in the city or like the suburb that you're in. But go to the TJ Maxx that's like around the mall and like those big, or like big stores, like a big shoe store or whatever. You, I know you guys know what I'm talking about because those TJ Maxx are always the ones that have like more options. When you go to the smaller ones, like they just, I don't know, I guess like the big companies that sent the clothes to TJ Maxx, they, they just rather send their things to stores where they know it's gonna sell, which is always the stores where there's more like movement, there's more people going all at all times. Okay, so it's raining, but I don't really care. The only thing that I ended up buying were these cute little pillows because it just so happens that I just came to TJ Maxx not too long ago to plan this video up for you guys before actually coming in and BSing it. I didn't do that. So I didn't buy anything because I already bought everything that I needed the first time. So I just got these pillows because I need some new ones. And that's it, guys. That was my trip to TJ Maxx.
Oh my god, if you guys like videos like this, let me know in the comment section below or like on my social media. They'll all be linked down below. It's just all my socials are at Jalissa Chapa. Uh, and that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Julio, well, no, you're like getting too close to my face because you're not paying attention. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Aquí, Julio.